our stores. So start your cars today. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Happy New Year from all of us at News Channel 6. Better headlines on News Channel 6, brought to you by Jamie Casino Injury Attorneys. Happy New Year. It may be a new year, but we've got a similar weather forecast. I'll have it all for you coming up. Now on Good Morning Augusta, bringing in the new year. A local skating rink holds its annual New Year's Eve event, and we'll take you there. Plus, as we bring in the new year, people are sharing what important lessons they learned in 2022. And later, Congress headed back to Washington soon. So what's on their to-do list? Your number one source for local weekend morning news starts right now. Live from Television Park, this is Good Morning Augusta on WGBF News Channel 6. Well, good morning, sunshine. Happy New Year. We made it. It's great to see you. I'm Sean Cabbage Stock. Coverage you can count on begins with the South Carolina Highway Patrol investigating a deadly crash in Orangeburg County. The incident happened Saturday afternoon. Troopers say the driver of a car traveling north on Highway 15 near Mountaineer Circle, about five miles south of Ellery, went off the right side of the road and struck a tree. Two people were transported to a local hospital for treatment. One person died. We're working to learn the identity of the victim for you. Skateland held its 16th annual balloon drop last night. Fellow journalist Reggie Mackey asked folks out there about their New Year's resolutions, and he takes us there. If you are ready to race, raise your hand. On your mark, get set, go. And skating is coming back in a lot of communities because it's inexpensive. The thing about our rink, family oriented. The family, bring your family down. I love skating, and it's a time where family and fun, where people can get together and have fun. My New Year's wish is to fix all the things I did wrong and all the mistakes that I made in the past year and to um, develop new, better habits. I wish that, like, less people would get sick in the hospitals when me at school with sick people and that people get to um, do what they want to do without having, like, cancel stuff because of sickness. Yeah, I wish that humanity could get it together and be a lot more peaceful coming in the new year. You know, we've had a lot of traumas, even starting with COVID and everything that happened. So I'm hoping that 2023 is a good year for everybody. I want skating to be popular for everybody. My wish is that everybody won't care what other people think and that they'll do what they want to do. and fireworks and a few drinks but a few drinks can still be dangerous for anyone who decides to get behind the wheel while the legal alcohol limit is 0 0.08 when driving doctors warn not to drive at all instead use ride sharing apps or your designated driver the, the legal limit is uh, 0.08 in the state of Georgia, and um, even at levels below 0.08, you can still be um, an impaired driver. So um, the, the general knowledge is one drink per hour is what it takes to essentially detoxify from the alcohol. Um, and we would say that if you've had even more than, you know, uh, that kind of limit, so we would say one drink, you probably shouldn't be driving these days. And y'all, bottom line, just be safe this weekend. But if you do overindulge this holiday weekend, there's a number that we told you last year to keep in your pocket. The same thing for today as well. It's 855-2-TOW-2-GO. And AAA will take you to your home within a 10-mile radius. That service runs through Monday, January 2nd. And another number you should know is Star HP. They'll put you in touch with the Highway Patrol to report any drunk drivers. And with the new year, people are sharing some wisdom for 2023. Elise Delflin has more. 
The past year has been filled with lessons from how to stay healthy to being more kind. We asked people in the upstate one simple question. What did you learn this year? Do you cherish your friends? Be kind to others? There's people out there willing to help, and I've seen things improve. We learned that God had a perfect plan for us and a perfect love story if we would just be patient. <laughs> Mental health is so important. The family is everything. I learned that it was high time to get in the gym, stay consistent. To just be thankful that you're able to move and to be grateful that you have the opportunities that you do. I learned that it's always important to put your mental health first over anything. It's how to like adjust to new things. Um, we got engaged this year. We moved into a new apartment, so we're having to pay rent now. So we've learned a lot of like, you know, new responsibilities. I learned this year that working to earn the extra money maybe isn't as important as you think it is that spending time with your family should be the first. With all these new lessons, I think it's safe to say the Upstate is ready for 2023. So Sherry, the kids at my apartment complex really enjoyed the weather last night. They were shooting those fireworks off at maybe 11, 12, 1 o'clock. I'm not uh, going to sleep. Oh, you're lucky it was that late. At my house, I think they started around 7. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, so yeah, they were yeah. really out there enjoying it. But that's alright. Once yeah. a year, we can, we can deal with it. Yeah. 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 How's the weather today? So it's a little foggy out there to start out with. So if we look at our Terry Lambert Hyundai Skyview Cam at the airport, so it's still a little dark out there, so hard to see, but it is kind of this fine mist and foggy layer over us, and that will stay for the rest of the morning. And then we'll get a break from it during the day, and then again, foggy conditions tonight. In fact, most of the CSRA is under a dense fog advisory, so definitely take precaution if you're out there on the roads this morning. Current visibility down to half a mile in those areas, even zero in Swainsboro, so definitely very foggy out there. Temperature-wise, though, very warm. So our sensor in Augusta obviously did not want to move into the new year with us, but everywhere else we've got temperatures in the mid to upper 50s at this hour. Winds, not too bad, very calm winds for us and those warm temperatures but the dew points are also up there which means it is muggy so right now on our outdoor comfort meter we're at a five so not terrible but definitely some humid air out there so happy new year so our day planner for today we're going to start off in those upper 50s but make it up into the upper 60s maybe even 70s for some areas so we're expecting the clouds and fog for this morning but then we will see clearing this afternoon in those warm temperatures i'll break it all down for you in your full forecast coming up back to you sean all right, Sherry, thank you. A pastor is giving the gift of life in the form of a kidney. Here's Whit Johnson. Atlanta native Jack Abbott has been an avid runner for decades, but a decrease in kidney function in recent years landed him on the transplant list. I was on a list, but so were many, many other people. Early last year, a severe battle with COVID put him in the hospital and pushed his kidneys into decline. The kidney function was down to 5%, which was, you know, hardly doing anything. When Jack's running buddy of 15 years and pastor Jimmy Slick heard about his health, he stepped up with a priceless gift. As one of his pastors, I was curious about where his health was and how he was doing. And he says, if I got two kidneys, I'll give you one of mine. And I just felt like that's what I needed to do. Turns out their blood type was a perfect match, and they underwent a successful surgery. We are forever grateful for how much of a sacrifice they make to save another person's life through kidney transplantation. So they are truly heroes. After a long recovery, the pair was able to finish a 10K race over the summer, a pact they made the day after surgery. I'm an example of a person that can say, you know, you can do just fine with one kidney. As 2022 comes to a close, Jack is grateful to his pastor, who he calls his blood brother, and plans to celebrate his 78th birthday in a few days. I'm just now hearing, maybe in the last few months, that Jack, you're looking pretty good. And I'm finally hearing that after a year. And congratulations. A new year, so now you want a new you. Gems are ready to help. Coming up, we have tips from training. That's next.
when they can't be. The Caring for Carolina and Children First Partners would like to congratulate Christy Lyon, recipient of the Merriest Christmas Ever. Happy Holidays from Aiken Regional Medical Centers, Bath Bitter, Bridgestone, and WJBF News Channel 6. The CSRA's favorite news app is now even better. With easier access to local news, whether it's live streaming video, download the News Channel 6 mobile app. Gyms will soon see high demand for people wanting to start a new fitness journey going into the new year. Renenko G met with trainers to see how people like you can achieve your fitness goals. Every year, fitness goals are at the top of many New Year's resolution lists. But what is the key to staying consistent? Several factors contribute to goal setting for your health and showing up to the gym routinely. Big things like eating a balanced diet and guidance from experts or an accountability partner to keep you committed to your resolutions. Personal trainer Keenan Alfred with Reinforced Fitness shared with me what he believes helps in the gym and what sometimes goes wrong for people. I think the main thing is finding a trainer where you have some accountability. Um, and I also think sometimes people kind of set a goal that's not achievable in the beginning stages of your fitness level. Alfred says consistency allows the time for your body to accommodate to the actions and things that are happening. Many people tend to grow impatient and concern themselves with getting to the goal rather than enjoying the journey and process of getting there. Setting appropriate fitness goals ensures you won't get easily discouraged from working out when you don't see immediate results. So what are the key things to consider when stepping into a gym? First of all, don't compare yourself to anybody. Um, secondly, Ask questions. Like, don't feel like don't feel embarrassed. Like, I know a lot of people have like gym anxiety, but most gym environments are very like camaraderie. Like, they want to help you. Everyone's there for the same goal to better themselves. Citron encourages that you trust your body and strengthen your mind to believe that your goals are obtainable and worth the effort. Overall, both trainers agree that by maintaining a healthy diet full of nutrients, staying consistent, having an accountability partner, doing research, and asking questions and trusting the fitness process and journey will make a long-lasting difference for your health and ringing in the new year on a positive note. So consistency is key. Sherry is up next with another check of your forecast. Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live, Viper 6. Welcome back as we take a look at our Terry Lambert Hyundai Skyview cams for the first time this new year. So if Sean wants consistency, we've got consistency. It's another cloudy morning with some fog there. So if we look at the river, you can tell we've got that blanket of clouds there. And if you look closely over the river, even some fog can be spotted. So temperature-wise, though, it's feeling nice. It's pretty mild and warm out there. Our sensors in Augusta aren't working right now. They decided they want to stay in 2022. But for the rest of us, we're looking at temperatures in those mid to upper 50s, 57 in Allendale, 58 in Millen, and even 59 in Sylvania. A little bit cooler at 54 in Gibson and Crawfordville and Sparta, 55 in Sandersville, and 57 in Edgefield. So we are under a dense fog advisory for a good portion of the CSRA. And even those of us that aren't included in the advisory, definitely some foggy conditions out there. So please be careful if you're out there on the roads this morning. Look at our current visibility. You can see those counties that were in the advisory is definitely appropriate as we're down to a half a mile in Sparta, one mile in Crawfordville, and even zero in Swainsboro. So Please, please, please be careful out there and have those headlights on and just take it easy if you're on the roads and recovering from the holiday weekend. So our satellite and radar, so we had that cold front that came through yesterday and it's taken its precipitation on with it off to coast and we have high pressure building in. So it'll be a nice first day of the year. So no rain today or tomorrow. So look at our farmer's forecast. So a little bit of a letdown with the rain yesterday. So it didn't really put a dent in any of the drought conditions for our southern counties, but a new year, so a new chance to tackle that. So no rain today and official sunrise at 7.32 here coming up shortly. So looking back at the month of December, it was a fairly wet month. I was hoping we'd make it to average, but it fell just shy. So at three and about three and three quarter inches of rain for December, but it was a good little mix up. A little rain here and there, trace amounts. 
but yesterday, not quite living up to expectations as we're just over 200th of an inch. So we're going to keep it dry these first two days of the year, but then we do have another round coming in midweek. So we'll start out dry, but then we'll have some rain building in. So looking at our future cast, we do have clouds in play for this morning, but then as we go throughout the day, we'll see some break in the clouds and maybe even see some pops of sunshine by mid-afternoon. But then about the time the sun's ready to go down, we'll have clear skies and that will continue throughout the afternoon as high pressure builds in in Monday, but then those clouds are going to build back in as we have our another weather maker coming in midweek. So for today, for your New Year's planner, we're going to start off in those mid to upper 50s and then warm up into the upper 60s, some places even 70s. So the difference in just a week, Christmas Day, we're looking at 42 degrees. We're forecasting for New Year's Day, 70 degrees. So our temperature trend right now, we're on a warming trend, but we will dip back down later in the week as we have another front coming through, but lows definitely staying above freezing, so nothing to worry about there. Today we're looking at a high in those upper 60s to 70s, overnight low in the upper 40s to 50s. In the next 10 days, we're going to keep it warm until next weekend, so dry and warm today, chance of rain midweek, and then we'll start cooling down next weekend. Sky to love living here in Georgia, South Carolina. Yes, the only thing consistent is inconsistency. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, coming up, what's your favorite song for 2022? Top songs of the year for couples. Welcome back. So we often remember years based on the music that came out during that stretch of time.